Hi guys, welcome to my channel DMaker. In this video I will show you how to make a branding iron so that you can burn your logos in your wood projects. It's divided in three main pieces, the brass logo, a steel rod and a wooden handle and it also has four bolts that allow for easy changing of the logo if needed. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it. The first part to make is the logo itself and for this I use a 1cm thick and 4cm wide brass bar and cut the square out of it. In order to make it softer I tried to anneal the brass, but I heated the bar for more than 15 minutes and I think I was not successful. Most probably because the material is too thick and requires much more heat than my torch can provide. I printed the logo template in a normal printer, being careful to print it in a flip position so that it's displayed correctly when burning in the wood. I then glued it to the brass piece using spray adhesive. I outlined all the edges carefully using an exacto knife to mark the brass. Then a few holes were made in the round edges using a 1.5 and 3 mm drill bit. I used Dremel high speed steel engraving and carving bits to carve the outside area of the logo, but I decided to use them in the drill press at the slower speed. After doing all the engraving, I sanded the plain surfaces with 180, 220 and 400 grit sandpaper to get a smooth finish. The brass logo is nearly finished and is now time to make the steel plate. For this I used an off-the-shelf 4mm stick, L bracket and cut a 4cm square. I then marked the position of the bolts that will connect the two pieces together and drilled 3.2 mm hole in both pieces at the same time, being careful not to drill too deep. a small mark in the pieces so that I could know their position later on. Then I tapped the four holes of the brass logo with an M4 threaded tap.
Since the bolts are 4mm in diameter, I have to drill now a 4mm hole in the steel plate. Then I use a countersink bit to smooth the whole surface both in the steel plate and in the press logo. For the top of the steel plate, there is also the need to use a countersink bit, but this time to accommodate the bolt head. Since the bolts were too long, I had to cut them using a handsaw. I mark one side of both pieces with a saw, so that I always know how the pieces fit together and where is the bottom when burning the logos in wood. For the handle I use a piece of beech wood and I mark the center with a center finder. And then I drill a hole with an 8.5mm drill, so that I can tap the hole with a 10mm thread. Since I don't have a lathe, I have to improvise using my drill press to shape the wood handle. After using a wood rust to remove most part of the material, I use a file and then sandpaper to make it smoother. Now it's time to make the steel rod, and for that I use 10mm threaded rod and I mark the place where it needs to have thread, so that I can remove the thread in the rest to make it look better.
In order to better weld all the steel parts together, I soak them in white vinegar overnight to remove the zinc plating. Here you can see the difference between a zinc plated nut and the bare metal one. For the welding I have to admit that I can't weld properly and that's the reason why the welding looks so bad. Definitely is one of the skills I have to improve or maybe investing on a MIG welder. To finish I apply two coats of Mate Black spray paint. This is a special paint that is normally used in car engines and is resistant to temperatures up to 800 degrees Celsius. I really think it might not be necessary but I used epoxy glue to bond the wood handle and the steel rod together. To finish the handle I applied some linseed oil which will not only protect the wood but also enhance the natural wood grain. Now it's time to test it. Use a blowtorch to heat the brass for a couple of minutes, press the iron firmly against the wood and that's it! I'm really glad with this branding iron. It could have a better logo if I had a CNC machine and also the welding could be, could be much better. But in general I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I hope you like it too and you can find the list of materials I used in the description down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and remember, you can build it!